Hello there. And congratulations. Well, this is a great hello. That's the, the time when I had to know the name. The first thing they told me is I have to go and show this picture. And you were there as well. <laughs> Have you seen it before? 
Very interesting. All the way around the world. Oh, around the world? Well, it's just in Japan and down to Indonesia and India, Pakistan, and then yesterday in Oman at the Gulf. Gulf. Long trip. But did you did you come back this way or did you keep on keep, keep going west? Yeah. Well, it's time. Lose one day and going back to the whole oh, week, I think. Hi there. people and you're going to help a lot of other people find out about it and stop it and what you're doing and what you're doing and we will all right but we maybe have a family picture would you like to Understandably, there's been a lot of talk lately as to whether the games have a chance of success. Well, let me just say that it's unfortunate that some of the governments of uh, less than free countries have decided for reasons of politics and spite that their athletes will not participate. But let there be no doubt, the games will go on and the games will be tremendously successful. Spirit, God's most magnificent creations. In the final analysis, the goal of those participating is to do their utmost and to put their athletic excellence. Our athletes, as you're aware, are not supported by tax dollars. Instead, they depend on all of us, their fellow citizens, to contribute voluntarily 
uh, to the effort permitted to attend this year. We never have to worry that members of our team will, if given a chance, decide not to come home. This year, there's a program which is being operated at no cost to the government that provides a certain proceeds from the sale of these coins are divided equally between the Los Angeles Olympic Organizing Committee and the U.S. Olympic Committee. To date, this program is con I also want to thank the Congress and the business community for their active support. I'm certain that our athletes deeply appreciate them and every American citizen who purchases these fine coins and thus support Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as you noted, uh, this uh, program is the most successful uh, coin program in history. However, we don't intend to rest on our laurels. We hope to make more Americans aware of these coins, and I'm confident that as we do, uh, Americans will be buying more and more of these valuable and very impressive coins, uh, as well as supporting our Olympic athletes. Mr. President, I'd now like to give you, for you to present to Colonel Don Miller, the Executive Director of the United States Olympic Coin Committee, the first strike 1984 Gold Eagle, which is also the first gold coin minted in the United States in 50 years. I should add, Mr. President, that I had the pleasure and privilege of striking this beautiful coin at West Point last September. It will have to be taken on its place in the new museum of the United States Olympic Committee. And in closing, Mr. President, I'd like to thank all of those in Treasury, both in of the 1984 Gold Coins. <laughs>1961, there have been over 1,600 recipients of that award. We have 11 of the continued excellence in export, and three of those are represented here today. Joining me on the podium here are Mrs. Anna Shum, the American Economy, and our local banker, uh, Bill Draper, the president and chairman.
Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Sit down. I don't know about you, but all morning I've been sitting in there watching the sky and recognizes the need for increased export efforts. America's future growth and prosperity depends on how well we develop and compete in foreign markets. One in eight manufacturing jobs is related to exports, and 25% of our farm, 25% of the total value of all goods produced in this country. Exports mean jobs for our people, profits for our businesses, and growth for our economy. And that's why it's going to be a pleasure to present the well-deserved E and free world out of recession, and this will increase demand for American exports. But occasionally, the interests of diplomacy and the interests of American industry seem to conflict. Well, our administration sees it as our job in 1982, we passed the Export Trading Company Act, aimed at opening foreign trade opportunities for medium and small-sized companies, more efficiently and more effectively. We're also implementing an international investment policy to reduce the number we can to get government out of the way to make sure that you have the opportunity to compete effectively in world markets. And there's something else. I'm beginning to feel a little like an export product myself. But one of the key purposes of these trips is to see that all the export trading doors are everything I can to promote U.S. exports, except possibly wear a Buy American bumper sticker on my bag. We're committed to keeping markets open to free trade. East Star Awards. Our award winners are making it happen in a fiercely competitive environment. You have good president of Belco Industries Incorporated of Carrizozo, New Mexico. <laughs> Mr. John Bontos, president of Bontos Corporation, Monticello, Minnesota. <laughs> Mr. Emery G. Alcott, president of Canberra Industries, Meriden, Connecticut. <laughs> Mr. Sergio de Armas, President of Florida Exporters and Importers Association of Miami, Florida. <laughs> Mr. Leonard Kunzman, Director of the Agriculture Development and Marketing Division of the Oregon Department of Agriculture of Salem, Oregon. Mr. Reef Pfeiffer, Reese Pfeiffer, President of uh, Pfeiffer Wire Products, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. <laughs> Mr. Richard D. Messenger, Chairman of the Board of Power Kerbers Incorporated, Salisbury, North Carolina. <laughs> Mr. David Zimanek, President, REC Specialties, Camarillo, California. Dr. Leonard Skolnick, President Spitz Space Systems, Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Mr. John Walker, Tennessee Department of Economic and Community Development in Nashville, Tennessee, I assume. <laughs> Dr. Donald Tourville, President Zeus Scientific Incorporated, Raritan, New Jersey. <laughs> Mr. President, those are the 11 uh, E awards, and we have three star, E star award recipients. They are Mr. Harold W. Godberson, President, Gomaco Corporation, Ida Grove, Iowa.
Mr. William Donahue, Commissioner, New York State Department of Commerce. And last but not least, Mr. President, Mr. Steve Perry, General Manager, Toledo Scale Company, Division of Reliance Electric, Worthington, Ohio. again for being here. Congratulations to all of you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Now I'll go back to work.